What's going on? Yo, what is up my kings and queens, it's your man Cash is King, today we're going to take the opportunity to teach a very, very, very important lesson about merging service vehicles. Now this video I'm going to be doing live so that I can use it as a tool to discuss some of the finer points and more important things behind merging service vehicles for the freak shop the brocade 6x6 and the Manchester Scout C this will be the only safe and correct method for you to receive and store modded service vehicles that are created in game now i know a lot of you have already got modded versions inside of your freak shop and you've used tutorials that have come out from other youtubers and i will tell you that those methods although you have modded vehicles in your freak shop are incorrect methods and every single one of those methods lead to dead slots and slot corruption and they don't actually allow you to correctly merge and receive the vehicles to the slots that they are attributed to and allow them to be stored in the location that the vehicles and the slots belong. If you have merged your brigade and your manches, then there's a good chance that you are a victim of somebody with less than understanding. Today is going to be a lesson for the YouTubers. This is a method to teach for the people who believe that they are teachers. And yes, as a regular person that would like to merge and store your service vehicles, this will help you to achieve such goals. However, again, if you have already done so, then you're going to have some dead slots because of your behavior. Fixing those dead slots will be a lot more complicated. You might decide that it's not worth the effort to fix them, but you can go ahead and find whoever's video that you followed to make and create your Brickade 6x6 and your Manchester C in the first place and thank that individual for giving you dead slots, for teaching you with a lack of understanding, because that is exactly what has happened inside of our community. And I've waited for some time, I've allowed the kings to make sure that they could get their processes done correctly before I decided to bring this method out public. Okay? Now, to begin with, this is not something that you can do solo. This is not something that you can do for yourself. This is something that you do need a partner to help you with. A friend. Or a second console if you are fortunate enough to have two consoles. Now me, I do have two PlayStation 5s, and so I will be doing this by myself. However, I will be backing myself with my C1 and C2 in order to make this process move along. Now, Okay, pardon the interruption. Now, as I had mentioned, I am doing this video today for one purpose and one purpose only. Although this will help you as a regular individual to go through the process on your own, I am making this video for the rest of the guys who make YouTube videos. 
This is for Made Man Thug. This is for Ace Goods. This is for Mr. Mofo. This is for any of the persons that you followed already and the videos that you have followed to do yours incorrectly. This is to teach them people that believe that they are teachers the correct methods to do so. Okay? It's very simple. I personally have attempted to teach these processes and methods to the other teachers of the community but the truth about the situation is is that the people who are attempting to teach you they don't really care about actually teaching you the truth they just care about being the first person to release the video and so they'll do whatever it takes to do so and again there is some other methods that do allow you to merge but they're incorrect because they leave you with dead slots. And the goal to anything related to give cars to friends and GTA V and merging and car to car merges and service vehicle slots and getting modded versions of these vehicles into their correct location is actually to allocate these vehicles back to their correct vehicle slots and force them back to the locations that they belong so that all three components are married back together. The vehicle itself the slot that that vehicle belongs on, and the location that that vehicle attributed to its natural slot should be housed. Only when all three of these components are met will it be the correct method. And so far, even though there's been hundreds of videos, again, they have all been incorrect. Okay? So now, to start with, and now is a good time to discuss it because we have hard mode week and there will be a lot of people who are attempting to do the DAX missions so that they can, you know, get their benefits. Now these DAX missions, these DAX missions are a requirement, okay? You do have to complete these DAX missions before you can begin this process. You and your friend will both be required to finish your missions. And these service vehicles must be visible and available inside of your freak shop before you ever intend to receive one of these. If you are one of the people who received one of these service vehicles before you completed your missions and you automatically had modded versions show up inside of your workshop once you did complete your missions, then you as well will also have service vehicle dead slots because of your behavior. So if you follow Try Mods and you went to his Give Cars to Friends stream and you purchased a Brickade 6x6 from the car meet and again when you finished your missions it just magically appeared there you will have a dead slot because of your behavior because you had chosen to do it incorrectly and were impatient. Okay? Now the goal here is to have patience, to practice patience, to check your list and to mark it twice and to make sure that it was completed before you ever attempted to do so. Okay? And so I've made my way into a public session. I've registered into SecuroServe. As you can tell, I have completed the missions and I do have the two service vehicles here with me inside of my freak shop. And I also have a friend my console too that's going to be helping me achieve such things okay hi friend now there's a couple other things that we need to do in order to be prepared to merge these things just because we have them appearing inside of our freak shop does not necessarily mean that we are ready on the contrary there's a lot more that we need to do as you can see on my screen I just got a message from Lester for the doomsday heist and I do have my Bogdan Problem Heist board set up. And you and your friend, both, will also need to have the Bogdan Problem prepped. Yes, both of you. You do, and your friend does. And you will have to take turns alternating who's in the driver's seat to be in control. Okay? So I'm going to make my way on over to my nightclub. We will be using our nightclub for this merge, and I'm going to talk about some of the contrary beliefs of what's going on here. Now in the other videos, the first thing that people do 
is they tell you that you need to use the Bogdan problem hyacinator in order to pull your terabyte. Okay? And I'm going to tell you that in order to do these things correctly, you do not want to touch your terabyte for any reason. Your terabyte has absolutely nothing to do with this merge, and if you do use a terabyte dead slot in order to merge, then not only will you be creating dead slots for your service vehicles that are inside of the freak shop, but you will also be creating a dead slot from your nightclub terabyte garage. And so again, if you have followed any of the methods or processes that have been released, you will have a third dead slot. And you can also go back to that person that you follow and thank them for that dead slot as well. You do not want to touch this thing. Okay? Not at all. So I'm going to go into my garage B4. And I've chosen B4 just because it's easy for me to remember. It's the last floor. A lot of people use B2 and such. And I do not intend to use B2. Alright. Now here, I do have a vehicle. A bicycle okay and this is a street blazer and as you can tell it's just freshly purchased from the website it is not modded it's just a regular street blazer okay and I have this street blazer stored in my nightclub before for a reason because it's going to be my marker vehicle one that's going to assist me in merging and I do need to remember that that vehicle is there okay and I've made sure that that street blazer is also the only street blazer that I currently have stored inside of my B4. All right, and now we actually do need another vehicle in order to do this. We need another motorcycle, and we're probably going to need it in a different location. Okay, and I don't have any other motorcycles here. I just have modded cars inside of my nightclub B2 and B3 in the service entrance. I only have that one street blazer that is stocked down in B4. I'm also going to be using this Hakachu drag, okay? I have a Hakachu drag here that is modded. It's modded and it's lime green and it's unique to me. And I know that I can follow this vehicle and track it down. And I'm also going to be placing this Hakachu downstairs in B4. I want both of them downstairs in B4, okay? As you can see, my street blazer is there. I'm going to swap it to Warner. Cool. Got my street blazer. And I've got my Hakachu downstairs in B4. We have two unique motorcycles that we intend to use. One per service vehicle. We have one for the Brickade 6x6. And we do also have one for the Manchester Scout two motorcycles that we will be able to request out from our motorcycle club when the time comes for us to do so okay so I have all of my boxes checked currently I have two unique vehicles one per service vehicle in my nightclub before I do have the vehicle showing up inside of my freak shop in the Manchester Scout C and the Brickade 6x6. Once you do have that, and you can go ahead and make your way to your facility. And we can prepare to start with the first step. If you haven't completed your Bogdan Heists, your setups for the Bogdan Heist, you do need to so that you have this alert. We absolutely need the Lester Bogdan Heist alert. Okay? Have to. Now I'm going to go ahead and make my way to my facility. And as again I mentioned, I am in a uh, public lobby with my console too. Once you make your way to that public lobby, we can go ahead and invite our friend. We also need our friend here to help. Now obviously there's many of people who have worked out this method. They've used the Bogdan Heist to job merge. They've found their way into some other purposes for using this. We've used it for terabytes and speedos and all kinds of nonsense. Again, if you've used any other method to do those, you're going to have dead slots related to those vehicles too. Okay. So I invited my friend. I'm going to have him go ahead and accept that invite. We're going to bring him here. Okay. As you can see, my friend's going to be here. 
my friend's going to be here. So I'm going to go set up, and you see we're here at the little booth. Okay. It's very important that when your friend comes and he's in your facility, you don't actually want him to wait. You don't want him out there where your Avenger is. You don't want him next to your vehicles. Instead, you need him to come out here and wait. He must be in this room. He doesn't need to be in the heist room. In fact, you do not want him in the heist room. If your friend is in the heist room or in the Avenger room, then you're going to have a problem completing this next step. Okay, but I do have my friend here, and he's just going to wait by the beautiful secretary. He's going to be waiting for a message on his phone for me once I do the Bogdan job merge. Okay. Now, I'm going to make my way on into my high stroom. Before I do, I need to verify that I do have a job from a contact on my phone for a regular contact mission. And this could be Gerald or Simeon or Ron, any one of your choosing, as long as it's just a regular mission. Not a race, not a capture, just a regular mission. So I'll call Simeon, and I'm going to request a mission from Simeon. And I go about the double merge a little bit differently than the people who have told you how to do it. I go about it in a way that allows us to be in control of what we see so that we know exactly what we're doing. Okay? And as you can see, I've just got my mission from Simeon for Chasers 2, regular contact mission. My friend's here in the facility with me waiting, and this does mean that we are ready. As long as you have the unique vehicles inside of your nightclub, and you do have the service vehicles actually physically appearing as stock versions that are fresh from the mission inside of your freak shop. All right. Now I'm going to go through the Bogdan double job merch. And obviously I'll stand up to the screen. I'll make sure that I get the right D-pad and the left D-pad option in order to start this heist. And I'm going to be pulling up on my phone, hitting X to bring up that job. And I'll wait on the last invitation screen where we're going to do the pause accept method. While well, I will push down on pause, hold pause, I'm going to hit X and release pause at the same time. The goal is to start that job, but get my pause menu up in order to block it. And if you do so get to this screen, you want to make sure that you don't use your directional buttons. You want to use R1 or L1 in order to cycle through this mission. You don't want to use left or right D-pad. If you do hit right D-pad, then you're going to engage with the screen that's behind you. And that will cause you to fail the Bogdan job merge. But once you do get here by pressing R1, you will go online, go into your jobs, play jobs, Rockstar created, and we're going to start up a mission called A Time to Get Away. Now, A Time to Get Away is a job that comes from Martin, the contact mission Martin. And when I attempt to start this job, typically it would say, a time to get away, Martin. But if I did the pause accept correctly on the Simeon job on my phone, I should see that the mission is called time to get away, Simeon. And this is a clear indicator that I was successful in the pause accept method, and I did successfully merge these two jobs together. Now that I am here on this screen and I know that I did successfully merge these jobs together, I'm simply going to back out of this job. And when I do accept this alert that says, are you sure you would like to quit the job? I'm going to begin to spam right D-pad as fast as I can. If you do it correctly, you should automatically get launched into the job. But as you can see, it says time to get away Martin, so it was a fail. So let's go ahead and give that one more shot, shall we? And this is something that might take you a minute to do so. You'll just want to make sure that you're facing the screen when you do it, okay? Pause accept, pause online jobs, play jobs, Rockstar created missions, up on the D-pad until we get time to get away. Once we start time to get away, we should be able to verify what contact is hosting the mission. If it is Martin, then it is failed. If it is Simeon, then you are correct. So again, I'll hit circle, wait on this screen. As soon as I accept it, I'm going to spam right D-pad. 
to launch the Bogdan problem. And as you can see, I had a quick flash. My character did get pulled up into another job. And now I have the Bogdan problem Martin. Now we know that the Bogdan problem is a Lester job. But because I started that Martin job and it was corrupted, because I had double job merged in the first place, it's attempting to play catch up with itself. And I have successfully merged the Bogdan problem with a time to get away. My Martin job. Now, my friend that's sitting in my facility, who's currently a part of my Securo serve, he should automatically have a text message on his phone in order to join me. Now, it's very, very important that your friend verifies that the job that he got as a text message is to time to get away. If your friend has a Bogdan problem invite on his phone, then something is wrong and it is incorrect. He must be joining a time to get away job while you're attempting to launch a corrupted Bogdan problem. Okay? Now my friend did accept the heist invite. He did get the correct invite to time to get away. And I, although he is in the time to get away screen, I can see that he has joined me here. So I'm just going to go ahead and confirm the settings and start this job. Now a lot of people tell you to call out a car that starts with an A or a B or a C or something that's relative to the vehicle that you're attempting to find. And I will say that there's nothing wrong with that. The only thing is you must make sure you're using the correct process in order to do so. You don't want a dead slot terabyte merge at all for this process. Because if you do, there's a good chance you're going to lose your car to your terabyte. We don't intend to do that. So I'm just going to go ahead and launch this mission up. And I should get a broken screen. It'll launch the job and pull me down in an options menu where I can cycle through some vehicles. You only get a 30 second to timer to do so. And you must quickly be able to find either your Manchester C or your Brickade 6x6. The vehicle that you intend to merge. As you can see I do not have a timer on my screen currently. Which means I will have an undetermined amount of time to find my vehicle. I won't be restricted to the 30 seconds like before. Most people are restricted to that 30 seconds. Nothing's necessarily wrong with that. But me, I just like to have all the time in the world to cycle through all of my vehicles. Because so I do have four, 450 modded cars on this account. Okay, so I'm just going to slowly make my way through my cars. And I'm going to look for this Brickade 6x6, wherever it is. And there it is. Now once I have my Brickade 6x6, because we're in this screen, we're going to have a little bit of an issue attempting to start it. But I'm going to need my friend's help. So I'll just ready up the job. Now your friend might see a couple of things. Okay, It's very important to understand that your friend might have a couple of different things happen on his screen. Now he might be looking at a glitch screen. He might be watching himself. It's kind of hard to tell exactly what's going to be on. But regardless... You just tell your friend to hit up on his D-pad one time and hit X to launch the job. Okay? And that should automatically launch you into a session. And you'll just want to make sure that you do spawn inside of your submarine. That's the, the Kasatka that's part of the Bogdan problem mission. And your friend should be kicked out on foot outside of the facility. Now you're just going to ask your friend to kindly leave the job. And for me, I'll have my friend pause, go to a whole brand new close friend session so that he can wait for me to get ready to find him. I will need him again in a moment when it's time for us to do the job merge one more time. Now, as you can see, I did get the failed and it's going to cycle me through some alerts. I'm just going to accept everything and make my way on down into a new free mode session. And if everything was correct, when you spawn back out on the map, you should have your Brickade 6x6 in a tracker on the map that it is your personal vehicle, attributed to you and your character. By doing this, we have corrupted our personal vehicle slot, and we've allowed a service vehicle and a service vehicle slot to be tied to our character as a personal vehicle. It's pretty tricky, huh? Now I know many of you people are obviously using this to do the terabyte and to the Avenger merge and all these things. But again, I will tell you that they do create slot corruption and they do lead you to dead slots. 
unless you go about them using the correct processes. The whole point of today's lesson. Okay. Now I've spawned down, and this is obviously something that many of you have seen before. I'm again on Mount Chiliad in the location of the default facility. And on the map I can see that I do have my Brickade 6x6 with a happy little smiley face looking down at me. Okay, and it's my personal vehicle, it's attributed to my character, it's not going anywhere, it's going to be tied to me. And I just need to make my way down close to my nightclub, the place where I have those two unique motorcycles. And for me, I'm just going to job teleport. We'll start a job that's close to our nightclub, and we can go ahead and find a friend that we can get in a different targeting mode. And if you're playing in assisted aim, you can feel free to use Anawak. And you can either full join on him if you need to, and you can't get a different targeting mode, or get the t different targeting mode and decline it. Now for me, I don't actually like to job teleport with different targeting modes. I like to job teleport with private session alerts. Private session alerts allow the vehicle to follow your character. So I'm just going to join on Anawak 1. I'll wait to get some session details. I'm going to accept the first, accept the second, and then accept the private alert. I'll autom automatically be rendered back down. And with me, my vehicle should have followed. Okay, as you can see, I don't have to go back into the job and hit right D-pad. I don't have to call the car out. It just comes right with your character. So I'm going to go ahead and hit triangle, get in this thing. And because it's a personal vehicle, it should allow me to drive straight into my nightclub. Even though it don't belong there. Because at this moment, it's not under special vehicle protections. It's just a personal vehicle slot because it's tied to my character. Now that doesn't mean that it's not a special vehicle. It just means that I've changed the protections for this vehicle. It's very important that you make sure that you have a full alert. And it's very important that you made sure that you did your preparations correctly so that you know that you have unique motorcycles in the floor that you're attempting to store it in. Something that you can push as a placeholder so that when you're done, you can extract it. I'm going into B4. As you can see, I've got the full alert, which I will accept. You should automatically render into the nightclub and it will give you the option to choose to push and overwrite one of your vehicles. And I'm just going to decide to use one of them motorcycles that I had. Now it might take a second. Sometimes it takes a minute for you to get in. But as you can see, I'm here. Hockachu Drag in the Street Blazer. Okay. So I'm going to use the Street Blazer for my Brickade 6x6. And it will be very important for you to remember what vehicles you use. This Street Blazer is going to get replaced by my Brickade. I'll accept that alert. I have my brickade here with me now. And that street blazer has been force pushed. It's been force pushed down into the location that the brickade 6x6 comes from. Not only now did I move this vehicle, it's very important to understand what's actually happening here when you're doing this. Okay? I didn't just swap vehicles. But I also swap the slots that are related to them vehicles. And so this Brickade 6x6 that is a special service vehicle that has a service vehicle slot that belongs in the freak shop is no longer in the freak shop. It is here with me in my nightclub. It is out of location, but the Brickade 6x6 as a vehicle and the Brickade 6x6 slot that's attributed to this vehicle has now been extracted from its original location and it is placed here with me in my nightclub. Now this is prep for step one. I have this service vehicle done. Now I'm going to need to do my Manchester Scout as well. And I suggest that you do both. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and show you what it looks like, okay? And we'll take a little trip over to the freak shop. Now, this service vehicle is one that is a little bit intriguing, and it doesn't quite happen to be the same as the terabyte. No, because these vehicles are not terabytes. These vehicle slots 
although unique to themselves, these are about the same as your Avenger, okay? And they are not only vehicles, but they are properties. And they are properties because they have locations within themselves. And they have two parts tied to them. They have the vehicle itself, and they have the location itself. One exists because of the other. They are inseparable from each other. And just because you have one means you have the other. If you do go back to your freak shop, you will notice the inside of your freak shop, you're going to see an illusion. You're going to see something that is not actually true. But is all things GTA, it is not what you see, it is what you know. And I know that I extracted my Brickade 6x6, which is a service vehicle, and the service vehicle slot that is attributed to it, and I put it in my nightclub. And I also know, I also know that I placed a street blazer in that location. Okay. Now I did just walk in on foot. And if you get black screened, well, it's okay. It just sucks. You got to get out of it. You got to get out of it. However it lets you get out of it, you got to get out of it. I'm going to try to find myself and invite myself and see if I can get out of it, huh? And, like, you really don't have to go back to look. I'm just attempting to go back to look to talk about it and to show you what's going on. That's all. Okay. Now, as you can see, I've spawned in. Hey. Hey. Why is my brigade still here? And why isn't it pink? Well, it's, again, because it's not about what you see. It's about what you know. I know I've extracted mine. I know I placed a fucking street blazer there. I know that it was pink. Why didn't it merge? Because that's not how these slots work, is it? No, it's not how these slots work. These are service vehicle slots, and that is not a vehicle that's essentially here now it's a property i still have access to the interior and i still have access to the property and because the property is here then it's not going to go away it will always appear here in this form until i originally push the one back that belongs there but i know that i've already went through the process for the brickade so let's go ahead and go through the process for our manchester scout c as well shall we Sounds like a good idea to me. Okay. So, Manchez. Manchez 6x6. Six six. Manchez C, excuse me. Manchez starts with an M. So I'm going to look for a car that starts for an M. Let's call out a Mamba. We're going to have to go right back into the next process. And we're going to pull our manches. Okay. I got my manches. I've got registered. I'm here in a session. I'm going to find my friend that helped me in the first place. And I'm going to invite him right on back to this session. We'll just get him in here and make sure he can get in here. You know, you know, PlayStation 5. The lobbies suck, man. They're full all the time. It's hard to find a lobby that's not full already. A lot of times when you hit a lobby that's full, there's already people that are registered. Too many Securo Serve agents. Too many motorcycle clubs. Too much bullshit, right? Too much bullshit. Now we're going to see if my friend can actually join me. No, my friend can't join me because I'm a little corrupted. Full sessions suck.
Full sessions do suck. Now you do have to go through this process for yourself and for your friend. Both of you have to go through this setup before you can merge one, before you can make one, before you can create one. Both of you will both need your Manchezes pulled and your Brigades pulled if you're going to make them in-game with each other. Okay? You must have. Absolutely must have. Let's go settings, controls, free aim. My friend's got a session with 29. Shall we see if we can make it there? We'll see if we can make it there instead of here, maybe. Because it's a bit of a pain in the ass to find a session that's open on PlayStation 5. I also have a little bit of an issue because of the lobby that I'm in, but... We'll try to get to my friend. He's in a free aim session now. We'll try to join on him. It said it was open. Hopefully it's still open. Am I going to get the full session alert? Yes, son of a bitch. You are. This is the biggest and most bullshit problem of this whole thing is just trying to get together in the same session that you can actually be registered into Securo Serve or your motorcycle club. This is nonsense. But you just have to do it, you know. You have to do it. It takes time.
Okay, now I'm my own best friend, but I'm sending my friend an invite. I've made my way to the session. As you can tell in that other lobby, I had my brigade there. The brigade is stored in my nightclub. What you see inside of the freak shop is not what's actually true. The only thing that's true about it is the fact that I've gotten my brigade out of its location and I'm ready to pull my manches. As you can see, my friend is making his way down into the corridor and he's going to be waiting again by the desk. He will not wait inside of the room with me and he will not wait where my special vehicles are stored next to the Avenger. He's going to wait by the desk. Alright. Now, we're ready to move on to the next step. He's hired into my secure serve. I need to make sure that I got that job on my phone. So again, I'm going to call Simeon and request a job. And if you do notice, I did have the Mamba out with me. And that Mamba starts with an M. And the reason why I'm using a Mamba is because it starts with an M and it should be close for me to find my Manchus. And I'm going to pull both of my service vehicles at one time. It's very important that you go through this process for you and your friends. You must pull your brigade and your Manchus. And you must also have your friend to pull his brigade and his Manchus before we move on to the next part. You cannot merge a vehicle and receive one from your friend if you're going to create them in game unless you both have these set of circumstances. Only then will you be ready. All this is setup work that we're attempting to do right now. But I'm going to go ahead and get ready to do the Bogdan job merge one more time. The contact job from Simeon, excuse me. And I do have my Bogdan High set up still. We'll go ahead and make sure that we're facing the screen so that I have the right and left D-pad option. Pull up my phone and we'll go through the double job again. And when we go through the double job, we'll make sure that we use a unique set of circumstances in order to stack such things. For me, I'm going to use Simeon to start with. I'll hold pause, hit X and release pause. You should get the online options and we'll start a job. The job that we intend to start is going to be time to get away. If I can get there, must have someone leaving the session. All right, well, I'm going to unpause and back out for a minute. It didn't hit. Hold pause, X. An error has occurred in accepting the invitation. Okay, let's go. Delete that one. Do our job method. Hold pause, X. Release pause, pause online. Jobs, play jobs. Rockstar created jobs. Missions, a time to get away. Martin job. If I was successful in the pause accept on the Simeon job, I should see a time to get away Simeon. As you can tell, I am. So I'm ready to back out. As soon as I back out, I will spam right D-pad. I should get launched into the high screen. If it is actually correct, I will see the bogged in problem Martin. Once again, you do not want to see Lester on your screen. If you see Lester on your screen, then something is wrong. Your friend should get a text message on his phone to join you. And the text message that your friend gets on his phone should also read a time to get away. If it's a bogged in problem for your friend, then again you have to back out and start all over. Because it was incorrect. Now once your friend does join the job, and he's here ready for you, you can go ahead and confirm your settings and play. This time, we're going to be getting the glitch screen, and we're quickly going to be looking for our matches. We may have a timer. We may not have a timer. 
Either way, it doesn't make much of a difference. I like to not have the timer so I have plenty of time. This time I do. But I started with an M. There's my Manchester Scout C. I'm going to go ahead and ready up before my timer hits. And I also need my friend to assist me. He's going to hit up on his D-pad one time and hit X. And that should launch the job for you. And it doesn't matter what your friend sees on his screen. Now as you can see, I have my Manchester Scout C with me inside of the Kasatka that's part of the Bogdan Problem mission. The submarine that we do invade. You can go ahead and ask your friend to back out. Now for me again, I'm just going to have my friend to back out. And he's going to make his way on into a whole new close friend session. Where he can wait for me to go about the next step. I'll continue and make my way on into free mode. Now, this should be exactly the same as before. When I do spawn down, I should see myself with my Manchester Scout C on the map with the tracker. But we're going to have to do things a little bit differently in order for us to star our Manchester Scout, okay? Now I've rendered down into this session, and I'm here in a public session. I do pause and see on my map that I have the bike with me. It is my Manchester Scout. Now what I like to do is just go ahead and job teleport to my nightclub. Now we're going to talk about the importance of doing things a little bit differently. Okay. Now the Manchester Scout is a very special kind of unique vehicle. It's a little bit different. Now the Brigade 6x6 did actually allow us to drive it in to the nightclub no problem right it is under a little bit of a different protections now the Manchester Scout itself will not just allow you to drive right in you can't just take it into your nightclub I'm joining on Anawak to full alerts and then I'm job teleporting like that okay but as you can see with it my Manchester Scout C has followed me. Okay. Now it's very important. Right. You can check and see. This Manchester. It's out on the map. It's been corrupted. It's my personal vehicle. But. It's not going to allow me to drive into my nightclub. Okay. It's just not going to allow it. See. Vehicle cannot be stored. Vehicle cannot be stored. Vehicle cannot be stored. There is no property that's going to allow you to do this. Okay, but while I'm here, I had my friend make his way onto a brand new close friend session. Not a public session. Close friend session. And I'm just going to join on that friend. He's got to invite me because he's showing offline. I'll stay here while I'm doing this at my nightclub. I'll wait for the invite. Pause, friends, send game invite. Okay, exit. Okay, now that I've got an invite from my friend, I'll just join on him. Join group. Now I'm going to have to get this Manchester C inside of my nightclub. But it doesn't actually want to drive into my nightclub. <coughs> There's no property that it wants to drive into. The only way to get it in there 
is to use the gift cards to friends glitch in order to give this vehicle to yourself you understand <clears throat> Now when I walk outside, I should still have that Manchester Scout here. Okay. We're going to go take it and park it up by the nightclub. Now I'm not going to be able to use any personal vehicles at this point. I need this vehicle to remain out on the map. I cannot return it to storage whatsoever. I can't call out any other vehicles. I need to be able to go to this gift cards to friends glitch, but I can't use this vehicle to receive gift cards to friends. Okay, I'm going to have to have my friend to help me. So you're going to have to help your friend when he's at this point, and your friend is going to have to help you when you're at this point. Okay. So I'm just going to leave this Manchester Scout here at my nightclub. Alright. We're going to leave this Manchester Scout here at my nightclub. Now, we're going to use the facility method of give cars to friends. And the facility method of give cars to friends... The good thing about the facility method of gift cards to friends is that you can actually have your friend glitch you out for yourself, right? He can help you to get glitched out. Your friend's going to use his party bus to drive into his CEO office and get you glitched. And there's no other way to go about it, okay? We need to leave that Manchester Scout on the map. Like I said, you cannot call a vehicle out. You cannot call your own party bus. You cannot glitch yourself out that way. You need your friend to use his party bus to get you glitched out. You're both going to get glitched out. He can leave session and come back, whatever it takes. You just cannot. Okay? You can't. So I'm going to my CEO office, which most of you are familiar with at Maze Bank West. Again, I've got my Manchester Scout left outside at the nightclub. I'm just going to make my way in so I can invite my friend around. I'm C1, C2 in it up, so I just got to make this like a little easier for myself, you know, so I don't have to drive around. So we're going to invite friend to the office. Have him accept the alerts to come on in. Again, you can see... Manchester Scout at my nightclub, waiting for me, all good. Got my friend here now. Hi, friend. Let's go ahead and exit all and take ourselves outside. As you can see, my friend is out here with me. My friend's going to go ahead and call his party bus out. Get me glitched out. CEO office, find that party bus, online, pew, pew, pew. it's a pain in the ass dude. It's a pain in the ass and it takes time. If you do things 
the quick ways that are out. The consequences I mentioned are dead slots. You're going to get dead slots if you don't do it correctly. So you got to do this. You and your friend, you both have to do this. Come on, friend. Alright, I got my friend, but he's going to swap sessions. I need that other character in here anyhow. What up, sign? How's it going, my G? All right, all right. Bear with me just a moment. This will be the same amount of time required for you to do with your friend that you guys need to do to do these correctly. If you've waited, if you are somebody who's fortunate enough to have not been led by the, sh the blind sheep, all right, if you haven't given yourself dead slots and have modded brigades and shit already, this is the process that you'll need to use, the correct process that you'll need to use. If you already did it and you got dead slots attributed to it, well, that sucks. Better luck next time on a new account. Shouldn't have listened to dumb fucks, I mean. You can go thank your boy. Go tell your boy thank you. Go holla at the dumb mofo. Say thanks, buddy, for the dead slot. Alright, friends coming back. Hi, friend. Personal vehicle. Uh, where the fuck is my festival bus? There's my festival bus. It's in CEO floor number one. Okay. Friends here now. can see I got my friend he's gonna get his party bus Once you do get in, you'll just have your friend drive into the floor that it comes from. And he's going to help us to get glitched out. Now, my best advice is for you to take this party bus in reverse. Well, have your friend drive the party bus in reverse. Seems to work a little bit better. You can see we drive in. I'll wait until I get the black screen. Once I do get the black screen, I'm just going to go ahead and full join on Anawick. Okay. Now your friend's going to get glitched out too. And you can't both be glitched out like this and receive. So you're going to have to have him leave and come back after you get glitched. Accept. Accept. You should be rendered back down. Hey. It says I'm driving even though I'm not. 
Well, this is Manchester. Let's go ahead and job teleport again. Make our way close to our facility. You just want to full join Anoak to job teleport in this state. You're fully off the radar. You don't want to use different targeting modes to job teleport. You need to use private alerts to job teleport. So I'll join on Anawick, accept the first alert all the way until I get the private alert. Accept that and you should be rendered straight back down. Now because you're in a glitch state, obviously you can't run. You don't have access to your guns. Your friend inviting you to the MOC will help. We don't need to go through all that stuff. Now I'm going to have my friend to back out and leave and come back to this session so that he's not actually glitched out. You need to make your way inside of your facility before you intend to receive any vehicles. You won't be able to receive without doing it. It kind of helps to not unglitch you, but a little bit, I guess, unglitch you. If you're both off the radar, you won't be able to see each other, dude. That sucks. Yes and yes. So I'm just going to have my friend. He's glitched out. He's going to go ahead and change his spawn location to the facility. I'm going to have him back out to creator and then come back to this session. As you can see, my friends left. Now you can invite them back if you need to, if you're in an invite-only session. I'm in a closed friend session, so I'm just going to have them join right back on me. Friends back. Friends in his own facility. If your friend's facility is somewhere far off, you can invite them. Which I did. Hi friend. Friends here. Okay, now your facility obviously has to be full. I've got full cars, seven cars, full facility before I get glitched. And you'll want your friend now to go through the facility give cars to friends method with you. Okay, but there's a catch. You cannot return your Manchester Scout to storage, and you cannot use a personal vehicle. You can also not call out your Phantom Wedge, because that's going to return, return your personal vehicle to storage. So you need your friend to call out his Phantom Wedge. And while your friend calls out his Phantom Wedge... And your Manchester Scout C is still on the map. You're going to want to use a street car to get glitched out with.
Okay, some friends ready and waiting for me. Again, I can't call out any personal vehicles because I already have one attributed to me. One that's very important. And it's still on the road. You can see I have the marker of that Manchester Scout. So let's just run on down to the used car dealership and see if we can't pick us up a street car. One that we know will be easy for us to flip over and all this stuff, you know. If you can help it. Landstalker's not so great. Oracle's better. There we go. Oracle. See, I got my Manchester Scout still out here, right? You can see it on my mini map. There it is. Haven't returned it to storage, haven't called out another car, can't call out another car. Purpose of using a street car. Purpose of using a street car and having a friend to help. Again, you have to do this for your friend, and your friend has to do this for you. If you've went about merging these vehicles in any other way, you're going to have dead slots because of it. If you're on PlayStation 4 and you intend on receiving DMO versions, you have to go through the setup. There's no getting around it. If you get around it and you do a lazy method, you're going to have dead slots. You understand? Ones that you won't be able to fix. Streetcar on the dot with my interaction menu. Friends and his Phantom Wedge ready to flip me. I'm just going to drop my interaction menu and wait on the full alert. I'm going to have my friend to flip me over and let me know when I'm ready to accept that alert. Now you can be on your side you don't actually have to be fully upside down. Just as long as your wheels are not touching. Alright, so I'm up. My friend tells me I'm ready to go. I accept a full alert. While I'm in the car, I'll pause, go to my map. I'm not going to kill myself and take the easy way out. I'll start the job closest to my nightclub. Now while I'm in the job, I will full join Anawak all the way to a private alert and accept it. And a whack one for PlayStation 5 or 10. Join. Get the first alert. Accept. Private alert. Accept. Now, because of job teleport, by full joining, my Manchester Scout C should all of also follow me. That personal vehicle that I've extracted. Well, my service vehicle. The service vehicle that I corrupted through Bogdan and tied to my character's personal vehicle slot will now be with me. And I'm in a glitch state ready to receive. So I'm going to go ahead and drive this Manchester Scout C back to my nightclub. Now before, as you remember, I kept getting an alert that this vehicle could not be stored. But because I've went through the Give Cars to Friends glitch, I should now be able to pull this up and get the full alert in order to store it. As you can see, it gave me my floor options. Again, I had two unique motorcycles prepped inside of my nightclub before, and now I can accept basement level four. 
I'll get a full alert, which you must get a full alert, and hit accept. Now, I have that Hakuchu drag that is green. My unique motorcycle that's going to be going in the place of my Manchester Scout. That's the vehicle that I'm going to choose to push. And that's the vehicle that's going back to my freak shop. As I extract my Manchester Scout C. As you can see, I have both of my service vehicles now pulled. They are in my nightclub B4. And I have successfully extracted the vehicles and the service vehicle slots that belong to these vehicles. And I've moved them locations here in my nightclub. Full slot corruption. Currently under a state of full slot corruption. You must do this. This is a very dangerous state for you to be in. You do not want to stay in this state for too long. You only want to use it in order to merge special vehicles, okay? And so now that I am here, now that I'm here, I'm ready to make cars for my friend. You understand? I'm not making cars for myself. I've got all this work done and all this prep work done so that I'll be able to receive the special vehicles when they're ready, but I'm not actually going to receive them straight to me. I have mine ready so I can make my friends, and he has to get his ready so that he can make mine. Because this is a process that requires a team of two, and you must work together. You cannot be a selfish person in order to do this glitch correctly. If you are a selfish person, and you intend to do this in any other way, the consequences are going to be dead slots. If you have good friends, you'll have friends that also have their service vehicles pulled and inside of their nightclub so that they can help you. But if your friend pulled his special vehicles, received them, and then pushed them back to the freak shop, he will not be able to help you. And that means that he is not a good friend. That means he's a selfish friend. So now that I'm here and I'm prepped and ready, I have to help my friend. Because we both have to be in this state. In order for us to make them, we both have to be in this exact position. Okay? Now I got to get unglitched. Okay, so I'm going to set my spawn location to my CEO office. Let's back out. Shit, I'll go to story mode. Because I got to get unglitched so that I can help my friend. Okay, friend. Back to friend. Got to get my C2 over real quick. You can spend time as Trevor. <laughs> you can spend time as Trevor being wild for a moment, if you will. Except, except. We got to get back into a public session. Now that I've pulled, like I said, both of my service vehicles, got to have a friend to pull both of his service vehicles. If you do have a friend that already has a bunch of these stored up somewhere, right? If you have a friend that's got a couple of brickades stored somewhere, Manchester stored somewhere, then you can just receive them from him at this point. Okay, and that's just like to receive them. 
right now you're in the correct spot to receive over them slots we're going to be talking about creating them and making them together in unison however So let's get friend ready. P2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. Friend is there. And it is a pain in the ass, dude, I know. It takes a little time. It is what it is. Can't help it. I mean, you can go about it in different ways. You got friends that already got dead slots and dumb shit and already been dumb fucks and they can just pass them off. I need to create mine custom, though, because mine is going to match my set. Right? It's very important. I want mine to match my set. So we're going to merge them and make them in-game, you know? We're making these fully in-game. We're on PlayStation 5. There's not a DMO drop-in on this situation right here. So we're just going to make them and create them. We're going to use the car-to-car -car merge the way that you're supposed to. To manipulate and change slots in-game. Friend has his pulled. Friend's gonna go to his facility. Pause online. Find a public session. Send friend into a public session so that he can go about his Bogdan and you can help. Even though I've got mine out, it's not going to do me no good unless I have help. Unless you have a friend who's willing to put himself in the same position and help. Your friend can't just call the ones out of his freak shop and deal with that shit without going through the tracker and going through the problems and going through the bullshit, you know? We need these to be in locations that they're considered personal vehicles. Friends in a public session. That's too full. Oh, someone just left. So we're going to have them send you an invite. As you can see, if I go to my pause, cruise, my cruise, find my friend, accept game invites. Oh, no privileges. Friends already registered, however. Son of a bitch already. Jesus. I hate PlayStation 5 lobbies, dude. Rockstar sucks so bad. Find new session, go to a public session, 
Public sessions create lag and delay. You need it in order to get the double job at the Bogdan High Sport. If you're on PlayStation 4, you might be able to get away with doing it in a public session, maybe. Or, I mean, in a close friend session, maybe. There used to be a time when it wasn't so sensitive. Through patchwork and stuff, though, it's extremely fast. I don't know how I got stuck in the clouds for so long. Another shitty full session. And as I had mentioned before, the biggest problem with this whole process is just trying to get two friends in the same session that will actually allow you to be in Securo Surf. Oh, too many full lobbies. There's not enough lobbies. There's not enough lobbies. There's not enough allowance for people to be registered in the Securo Surf. Everybody wants to be registered. It only allows 10 at a time. online friends send game invite stupid ass shit Oh, he's got me stuck in the clouds for a long time, huh? Okay. Friends in a new session registered with 28. See if I can get in there and join them. to disconnect this stream. If I have to disconnect my internet and kill the stream, that's gonna really fucking suck. I'll time out or something. Fuck. Son of a bitch. Can't do recent activities. Okay, this stream has been going on for an hour and a half. God damn it, I'm going to have to disconnect, I know it.
Yep. All right, y'all, I'm going to have to disconnect the internet and restart with part two. Prep to help your friend to begin this so that you can actually merge. He has to merge for you, and you have to merge for him. Son of a bitch. Catch you on the next one. Follow me on the next live stream. I'm going to be reloading up right now. Make sure to refresh your browser.